Mm, if I play the intro, I'll get copyrighted and won't have the money for like a month. Is it worth it? A few moments later. Open the curtains, lights on. Don't miss a moment of this experiment. Oh, the book is strange, like clockwork orange. Keep your eyes buttered till the end. Morning. I swear a lot. Hello friends, and welcome back to Library of Ruina, which I haven't said for about a year or more. It's been a very long time, about a year or more, actually. Um, but since we've caught up with things on Limbus, I wanted to come back and have a play around, have a look at things, and I had a little idea for what I wanted to do. But before I do anything, I want to offer a disclaimer, real quick disclaimer. I think this is something that's at least important to say out loud. I haven't played this game properly in over a year. I wouldn't call Deck Delusions as playing this game properly because I was basically using submitted builds and just mashing them against whatever they went up against, right? There was no real proper build craft on my part or proper attempts to make use of strategies and stuff. Point is, it was a long time ago. There's probably a lot about the game I don't remember. I almost guarantee I'm shit at the game now. So when you're sat there and you're like, huh, why did he make that move? You know why, it's because I haven't played in over a year. So if you find it frustrating, I would highly suggest watching something else because it's not going to get better as this video goes on. But it occurred to me, if I wanted to do some more spicy stuff in Ruiner, you know, like, I don't know, certain mods or do a playthrough with certain modifiers and challenges, as it were, you know, spice things up a bit, I should probably re-familiarize myself with the game at least a little bit before I do that. And it might be fun to do that on camera to document getting back into the video game. So I had an idea. I wanted to go through each of the floors, as it were, going over all of these old characters that I know and used to love and still do love, frankly, because I have very fond feelings for most of most of these nuggets. I wanted to go through each floor and make each team in accordance to how I envisioned the characters playing, how I env envisioned them fighting, right? Because in my mind, maybe it wasn't the case for you, but in my mind, a lot of these nuggets had their own specific styles and ways of combat. And I wanted to see if I could do the best I could whilst adhering to those ideas. And then, I don't know, go up against something tough and see what we can do, right? Seems fun to me. That's what I'm gonna do, basically. So, we'll start with the floor of general works. It is the first one. And we're not gonna use Roland because he's very strong. Or at the very least, he can be. So this will be a bit of a challenge and also the natural and true floor of general works experience because you spend most of the game with four nuggets, including Roland, but he doesn't have the black silence at that point. So we'll start with me. Now, the focus for my character was always defense. I like defense, I like dodging, I like leaning into it. Hmm, there's not that much dodging here, to be honest, but a lot of the um, idea here is A, of course, singleton, you know, for all the variations, get the bonuses from that, and also because lock potential is very fun and we all like it very much. But also to gain smoke, because with Eileen's page, I gain a lot of power through gaining smoke. All combat pages that have smoke on them gain power, once smoke gets high enough, I gain power. My defensive dice power is up by two, and then lock potential will increase the power of everything. So lots of smoke gain for that purpose. A lot of defense um, pages or moves or what have you. So defense dice, I don't even know what the terms are anymore. It's been so long, but a lot of defense moves to take advantage of that. Will of the Prescript becomes a lot more useful with plus two defense power and then plus three when lock potential is unlocked. I don't consider this to be the best thing ever. I think I used to have a better build, but I don't fucking remember what it is, so we're using this. But that's me. Yeah, Eileen's page with your shield, liquefied flesh, and locked potential. We move on to Lorelei, who I always felt had a bit of a support role, as it were, and that was always um, portrayed really well with Miranay's page with the, what the hell is it called? Hana for all to provide, uh, you know, bonuses that she gets to everyone else through combat pages. So two forward marches, two braces up, sand strike, iron wall, bijir, or greek kick, and true trigram formation. Lots of endurance going around, more than strength, but still a little bit of strength as well. Potentially three strength to another party member at some point, which is quite a lot. I reckon that'll work quite well. Some of this might not clash very well at higher levels, so I'd be interested in seeing what I can actually do. Obviously, she's got that. She's got Respiration, Skin Prescript, Mind Hauler, Health Hauler, and Liquefied Flesh. I kind of wanted to make sure she could always do something reasonably value valuable each turn, and the combination of Respiration and Skin Prescript with four Trigrams means she'll probably always have something to work with. My worry 
is that she might not have something good enough to work with, right? She might just be a bit underpowered most of the time, which is a distinct possibility. Obviously, Mindhorror and Health Haller keep her healthy, and Liquefied Flesh, well, there's quite a bit of defense here, and she's gaining a lot of endurance. So, Iron Wall, for instance, could literally be an Iron Wall. That could work quite well. I don't know, we'll see. Now, Lane, I know Lane doesn't have their skin, it's because I couldn't find it, or I could find it, but I couldn't get it to work, and I wasn't going to spend several hours trying to troubleshoot it. I'll probably do it another time. But, Lane always came across to me as a high risk, high reward, go in, I don't care how much damage I take, I'm going to dish damage out. Now, Lane never fought well, because I never built well, and I don't think that's going to change today, but I tried to be a little bit keeping in theme, but also tried to be slightly smart about it, so Bamboo had Kim's page, it's a lot of fun. Singular Strike, my beloved. Unrelenting, so that with all the damage that he takes, he might still clutch it out. And then slash, uh, slash dice power plus two from Soul Player of the Homeland and Razor Strike, obviously, and minimum offense. But I gave him Rabbit Augmentation and Reindeer Treatment so that when he inevitably takes hits, which he probably will, he starts to get faster and stronger which I think could lead to a lot of uh, utility with him. And then Dark Cloud Blade for extra slash dice power. So we've actually got like plus three slash dice power. And then as he gets weaker, he'll gain strength up to two. So he'll have up to five plus slash dice power. And that's not including anything he might get from Lorelei. If I'd been really properly on this, I would have made Lorelei have like... Um, Nikolai's page with like combat command and all that shit, but that's not how I envision Lorelei, so that's not what Lorelei has. I don't know. But yeah, to overcome crisis, so that's our draw card, but also when, if slash when lane is at low health, that restores light as well. That's quite useful. Draw the sword to restore light. Singular strike comes into play on both of these to give them a little extra power. We actually want lane to take some damage. That will be quite good for him. Unlock one, because as time goes on, that'll become extremely useful. A combination of things will probably mean that it'll probably punch quite high as well, maybe. Slay, gain him more strength. Also slash, also restore light, decent. Flow of the sword, slash, decent numbers. Costs less at higher emotion levels, he can use him more. Crack of Dawn, a little bit of a defensive option. I'm thinking if the enemy's got something big, he can at least go in with Crack of Dawn to kind of defend himself reduce the amount of damage he takes before hitting them back with a massive hit, 7 to 18 unmodified, with burn as well, and then eliminate to just kill people and get stronger as a result, or at the very least stronger on that roll. I don't know if that's good, but it could be. And finally, Sweetman, who has replaced Asterickly because that was fucking stupid. Um, Sweetman loves vampires, big fan of the Legacy of Kane series, so I decided to lean into that with Elena's page and a Blood Fiend build, basically. But I tried to lean into as much regeneration as possible, right? So, Elena's page, obviously, Nuovo Fabric for less damage, Blood Fiendish to recover health and gain one strength if enough health is recovered, Emergency Rations, recovering health, Keeping in Stride, recovering health when winning clashes, Offensive Position for a little bit of extra strength. It doesn't matter if he's taking damage, if he's healing. And then Toughness to reduce the amount of damage he takes as well. Is that real? Should I really be going Offensive Position and Toughness though? Hmm, I don't know. I didn't really think about that one too much, did I? Then again, the net profit is one strength, and that is kind of useful. I'll leave it. We'll see how it goes. No point doubting myself until I see it not work. But yeah, forward march, brace up, loads of crimson claws, blood spreading, and unending thirst. I'm thinking if towards the later parts of the fight, if Sweetman's struggling, well, he can just start throwing out mass attacks, which will recover his health and also do a lot of damage. Like, blood spreading could absolutely bring him back up if he's not doing well. And I reckon we'll get the reduced cost on Unending Thirst pretty fucking quick. He just needs to make it to the third scene in order to use it. It's still four cost, it's still pretty expensive, but... I'm trying to go for a kind of combination of getting stronger later on while still making use of the um, light restoration from a motion coin buildup, right? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm not particularly worried about doing well. Once upon a time, I was, but that ain't me now. Now I don't give a flying fuck. We'll try Hunter Association. They're appropriately strong. Bearing in mind, we're going to be doing this with four nuggets, not five. Getting Roland out of there. If it seems like it's doing well, but we're just getting overwhelmed with numbers, I might bring Roland back in because he's not that overpowered, but he is very strong. Now, we're familiar with what these guys do because we're making use of their fucking shit. So, I'm familiar. Oh, it's been a while. It's been a fucking while. I can't wait. 
Ah, oh, baby. It's been so long. Yeah, that's how you move things around and you can zoom in and oh boy, does Limbus look way better, but there's a charm to this. There's an absolute charm to this that I really miss. Just the little, the little dice doing the rolling thing and then you click and then you get your numbers and... Ah, uh, this brings back memories for sure. But it's nice to be able to do this with... Uh, obviously, I'm going to turn those on. Uh, it's nice to be able to do this with less pressure, I suppose, because I'm not particularly worried about doing well in general. I'm just here to have fun. And that is quite freeing. So Lane's going to get fucking jumped on. Godspeed. Game one haste next. It's speed is seven or high. Okay, so I ain't gaining power. That's fine. You're doing unyielding strike. That's quite dangerous. But if Slay... Uh, it's a bit risky, but if Slay were able to match that... We'd gain the strength. The block won't do nothing because it's two offense dice on two offense dice. Could be okay. Then again, in my experience, it's usually better to contest the higher stuff. But we also need to take damage into consideration. It is very likely to beat that as well. The question is, can unlock one be anything? I mean, it probably can, but... You're too slow to do to deal with that. At the very least, if he wins with it, it reduces the amount of damage he takes. And as we discussed before, he gets stronger when he takes damage, so it's all good. Lorelei's mostly got offensive cards this turn, so I'm thinking we could either draw. Mm, I'm gonna go strength. Yeah, fuck it. Lean into this a bit. Get Augury kick going early on. Oh wow. I mean, it's possible. It's unlikely, but it's possible. Well, let's cancel that and see if we've got a better option. Because Vapor might do it. It's a bit risky, I'm not going to lie, but it might do it. Unyielding Strike could be dealt with by Smoke Smash, maybe. I've got a lot of defensive bonuses. So that frees up Lorelei to do whatever. Say Unyielding Strike does need to be contested. Get that strength and you can pass it on to someone else next turn. That might be alright, it might not be. Who the fuck knows? I'm sure it's fine. And by that, I mean it's not. But Unyielding Strike still needs to be dealt with. I don't know if Sweden will be able to clutch that out, but he'll have to try. I've noticed the issue, of course, is that he hasn't gotten any of his resource cards, which is a bit of an issue, I'll admit. Still, he's there to take damage because he heals it. And he's gaining plus two strength, so he might be okay. Cool. Well, let's let's do the old thing that we used to do and, and play the video game. Nice. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Good. All right. Well, that worked out well for him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice. No, going pretty well. Yes. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Less good, but you didn't take as much damage. Ooh. Okay. Right. Well, that was fine. It all worked out. Yep. 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 Fuck you. <laughs> Amazing. It's fine. The more damage he takes, the stronger he gets. Honestly, we traded relatively well. I forgot about abnormality pages. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to give Sweep and Scars. Because a lot of his strength will come from just not dying. I guess he's pretty good at that. We did some damage to them. Nothing major, although this person... Actually, they're not suffering, really. This person's suffering more. They're untouched. We'll probably want to focus on working one of them down. If I'm right, then Lane's... Yeah, Stagger Resist is suffering. Having played Runa... Not Runa. Having played Limbus for so long, it's easy to forget that Stagger is its own separate metric now. Divinatory Impact. That's like my one weakness. I quite like Divinatory Impact, actually, because it's arranged in such a way that Evade becomes so much less useful, which I like that they thought of that, you know? You can probably beat that with Unlock 2, I imagine. Problem is, you're too slow to clash anything else. You don't have any other attacks coming in on you. Would be the time to try and get more pages, wouldn't it? Focus on that person, see if we can bring them down. You're using God Speed, that's manageable. You're using... God, I hate, I hate that it does this. Stop. There we go. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I don't need to see passive abilities. I know what they are. Okay. Draw a page, see what we can find. Iron Wall. 
Well, it's not going to beat Celestial Spear, but it will kind of outlast it, as it were. It will at least reduce the damage. God's speed can be beaten with free strength. I would fucking hope so. Board March should deal with it. I'm um, being targeted by that. Divinus yeah, Divinatory Impact. I remember now. What are you being targeted by? Both things on this guy. Divinatory Impact. You still haven't drawn any cards. This upsets me. I need to rework your shit. Although, is it just bad luck that I drew both mass attacks on the first turn? Maybe. But you're not being divinatory. Well, you know what? Luke heals through the pain. So, do that. Got your protection and your fragility. So, you're only taking two additional damage. And you got plus two strength. And if you land that forward march, you'll be all right. The only downside is having to leave one of his speed dice unused. I think he might need a bit more utility. I reckon that might be Sweetman's weakness. Hear that? You need more utility, bruv. Stop fucking around. What are you doing? Hey. What's the meaning of this? So you're resistant to blunts. Basically resistant to everything, really. That's annoying. What's the point in even having weaknesses if they just become irrelevant? Will of the Prescript might do it. If I can evade the first one, and then the evade beats the block, which then cancels the evade, and then my two attacks clash with their two attacks, and then they've just got an evade dice that goes nowhere. Not gonna beat Celestial Spear. Probably not gonna beat that. Oh, I could beat that. A multi-slash, as we know, is clutch as fuck. And as soon as I can get that unlocked potential, we're in good business. I suspect my builds will become better as time goes on, but it would be really funny if they became worse. <laughs> that, I, I, <laughs> it'd be really funny if, like, as <laughs> this mini series went on, they actually got worse and worse and worse. Well, this turn will suck, but we knew that would happen anyway, so what's the big deal? Yikes. Yeesh. Youch. That was pretty bad. That's fine. Good. That's what we wanted. Yep. Beautiful. Good. Marvelous. Yep. Oh, so much health back. Yep. Exactly as I wanted it. Couldn't have planned it better if I tried. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Nice defense. Some serious damage being taken, though. <laughs> Lorelei's not looking so hot. It's a good thing she has mind and health hauler. We'll probably need to make use of that, I think, sometime soon, perhaps. I've got some enduring, she's got some enduring. We could really do with knocking one of these characters down. But we've been spreading around our damage a bit too much. Divinatory impact again. I've got a lot of cards this turn, though. I think I'll likely end up taking a hit, but I haven't taken a hit yet, so maybe it's about time I did. Brace up or <laughs> Celestial Spear. Hmm. Ah, I wonder which one I want to deal with. I think it's got to be Defense Order, doesn't it? At the very least, it'll reduce the damage significantly. Lane's looking a little peaky, mostly on their uh, Stagger Assist. But we've unlocked three now, in effect. He's going to get a lot from that. Celestial Spear. Crack of Dawn. Now give protection to other people, which will be helpful. Just that coming in. It's Forward March. That should be easily dealt with. What have you got to play with? Yeah, definitely endurance. Um, perhaps less damage taken would be quite nice. A lot of that coming in. Divinatory impact. Two protection and two stagger protection would be very useful for her, I think. It is a situation, I think, where her just dealing damage might allow her to kind of tank these things. You know, that's kind of the whole health or mind puller thing. But I need her to keep up the pressure. If we can stagger that character, that would be a big win. Massive fucking win. No one's targeting Luke. Which is unfortunate, because he's only a move which should level one, and we're not... Uh, we can't use Unending Thirst yet. He just doesn't have enough light. Ah, uh, that's an issue. So who's going to do something scary, right? Like, who's going to do something real scary? You. We could do with trying to take some of the pressure off Lorelei, I think. I can take a few hits. But any attack we can prevent going to Lorelei would be helpful. And then nothing for your other slot, because I didn't build you very well. Because I lent more into a theme than competence. You see what I did? Fuck it. 
That's not good. That's not good. That was... <laughs> None of that went the way I thought it was. Shit. There we go. That's better. Boom. And a minor hit in return. So I'm going to take a lot of damage this turn because I fucked up every single one of my encounters and now I'm just taking a bunch of free hits. That's good. That's good. I like that. That's fine. Yep. No. That's fine. That's fine. That's less fine. Ow. This is fun. Ah, this brings back such memories. Let me tell you. That resets on different targets and excludes mass attacks. Maybe urging just gives someone a bit more health. Give that to Lane because then his bonuses will activate at a higher level, like number of health because it will be a higher percentage and gain speed. Give a meaning to all the things we've wished for. So we're losing, but like, I don't know who's keeping score. I think we're doing all right. We've got some extra um, speed dice now and they've lost a person week so we can actually clash them, which is amazing. Never thought I'd see the day. But the thing is, we got to win as well. So, Celestial Spear. Oh yeah, hit him with that. Uh, yeah, go for it. It'll be back eventually. Brace up can be countered by Forward March. Uh, Sweetman's lack of cards is really worrying me. He's gaining two strength, so that's like 8 to 11 and 10 to 21. The second hit is almost guaranteed to hit people. It's a mass individual, after all. God, it's been a while since I've had to deal with literal mass attacks. I'm not even dealing with it, I'm using it. I have the power, it's me. Maybe a little smoke smash on you. It'd be great if I'd given myself double kick. I love double kick. I love double kick with evade, it's so fun. You're using unyielding strike. A little smoking pipe there, perhaps. And then I'm not fast enough to contest anyone else, so multi-slash on them. Will I even get to... They will... They'll die. I won't get to use that, will I? I don't think so. I'd be very fucking surprised if that didn't kill them. So, yeah. Maybe just hit someone. I could... It wouldn't be a good... That wouldn't be a good interception. I probably shouldn't do that. What about that? Celestial Spear, I don't fucking think I could use Vapor on it. Yeah, fuck it, that's fun. We like to have fun. Lane, what do you got? Forward March, huh? Oh, 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 tit, you have less than 50% HP. Do they, actually? Ah, it's a bit iffy. Fuck it, see if you can eliminate them. That'll be a good time. And then, Unyielding Strike. Yeah, a lot of bonuses to flow of the sword. Give that a go. I reckon that'll work out. Confrontation. Hmm. May as well. May as well use it. There's no reason not to. Because you'll just get all of your cards back next turn. We've contested everything. So start hitting them with uh, Brace Up. And then that works out. And uh, hey, yeah. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Go for it. Do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. I didn't notice that. Oh, no, wait, I did. It's just mass attacks don't clash. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. I did it with the knowledge that it wouldn't clash. I just, in that moment, forgot that that's what I'd done. That worked out. Oh, you guys are fucked. Oh, you guys are going to have such a bad day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you love to see it. Oh, you guys are going to have such a bad time. Yeah, you are. Hmm, none of these are brilliant, but... We're not well set up for hammering now. Does anyone have a decent amount of pierce cards? I have a few, but not many. Fuck, I'll give myself Nargle and Tammer. It'll be fun. And we get one of these. Purge, Strength, Endurance, Protection, and Stagger Protection from Target. Very nice. Three random enemies are afflicted with a random staff settlement from one paralysis, one feeble, one disarm, one bind, and one fragile, individually determined. Or Frost Splinter. You know what? If I had to suffer through Frost Splinter, so does everyone else. Fuck you guys. Oh, look, the music likes us again. What a fair weather theme track it is. It is fun, though. 
we're not at max emotion yet, so we should still be able to benefit from that next act. But it is a little risky. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. Do do da 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 da. Celestial Spear is a bit scary. Does Luke have any cards yet? Not really. <laughs> Luke, man, what is this hand? Sort it out. You're embarrassing the team. Hit him with the blood spreading. Honestly, that'll, that'll probably do it uh, on your higher speed, preferably. The problem is, though, that those two will go first. A Lorelei can block them. Iron Wall to reduce the damage from that. Augury Kick to fuck them up on that. This this will be fine. Uh, I won't even show the turn because there's no fucking point. I'll just show the results, but... I'm pretty sure blood spreading will just kill them. I'd be really fucking surprised if it didn't. Go for it. Oh, he does hit the start. Right, mass attacks are at the start of the turn. Cool, good. That's perfect. Nice. Good. So Act 1 worked out, but Act 2 obviously has Mirane and Harold. Yeah, Harold. I remember Harold. Absolutely beefed up person they are. Aren't they like super durable most of the time, if I remember correctly? I just remember Harold being a general problem. They do have 230 health. And, and Mirane has 235. And all the bells and whistles that come with being, you know, a Hana Association member. Let's see what we can do. This is fun. I'm having a good time, honestly. Getting to play this again, absolute blast. I'll do this the usual way, yeah, I'm sure. All right. Luckily, we've got our extra speed dice now, so we're actually sitting pretty. The only problem is we're probably going to start running out of lights real quick. Oh, you're going in hard on the first turn, aren't you? Like, you could buy us dinner first. Fucking hell. What cards are we working with here? Mostly strength. Well, we could go true trigram formation with true trigram formation. Yeah. Yeah, eight trigrams, 64 palms. Eat a dick. Ah, oh, this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. Uh, this is fun. Uh, this is fun. I'm not sure. Lorelei doesn't get a lot of bonuses other than what her cards provide her. Like, she has no passives that provide a lot of bonuses. So I don't think she can take Celestial Spear with Bajir or Augury Kick. I'm sure we can perhaps intercept it with someone else. Luke's got a bunch of Crimson Claws. We can absolutely make use of that. Already gaining a Strength bonus. Could be good, actually, if we have him prey on some of their weaker attacks and just start dishing out some hits. He doesn't even need the health. He's doing very well for health. Unyielding Strike, you can probably take it. Let me just quickly check your shit again. Hmm, maybe not, actually. But here's the only thing you can clown. Eh, uh, give it a go. Fuck it. We love gambling. We do. I don't... Oh, I lost my blade potential. Oh, garbage. Oh, this game sucks. Two out of ten. Who would even bother playing this garbage? Why didn't they make it so that I win every time? Why? Why? Why wouldn't they make it so that I win, huh? Why wouldn't they just make it so that everything goes the way I want it to? Who even coded this crap? Oh, you should probably deal with that, actually with that, because it's high speed. If he takes the hits, fine. He's got protection and also heals from attacks. It's all good. Absolutely no problem. I reckon we'll have Crack of Dawn deal with that. And that'll be fine. Flow of the Sword to deal with. Unyielding Strike, that will work out. A lot of damage early on, although I worry the lane will run out of light very quickly. But you'll just have to have a turn of using Draw the Sword, if that's the case. It'll be how it will be what it'll be. It'll cost what it'll cost, you know? That gives everyone, uh, but that's cheaper. Yeah, go cheaper. Because we don't have a lot in light regeneration at the moment. Like, yeah, we can use this next turn, but that's still not much. Let's even get Molly Slash to work. Not a big deal if it fails. Will the prescript because we need the cards. And we won't use we won't use smoke prick yet. I don't think. Nah, save it. All be good. That's no good. That's better. That's neutral. That's fine. Big hit in return. How'd you like that? Oh, yeah. Nice. Very good. Beautiful. Ooh. Ah. Uh, still fine. Yeah! Yeah! 
Yeah, perfect. Nice. Mar wonderful. Marvelous. Beautiful. And now he gets his strength bonus. Well, he'll get a strength bonus next turn, but he's now assured that he'll get it. You know, I know what I mean. It's okay. Don't you worry. Defensive dice game. One, two power. Give that to me. I fucking love that shit. Marionette is a great way to get out of trouble. You know, if you're like, look, I don't even care about the long term. I just need to win. I love this song so much. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember hearing this in Yomi Hustle and playing as the Black Silence. That was pretty fun. We did a little bit of Yomiing on the server at one point. We're still planning to do a tournament at some point, but we never really followed that up. We should. I think that'd be fun. I still maintain, though, and if you disagree, that's fair. Absolutely fine. But the floor of technology is my favorite floor just for the music. Ye sod. That boring-ass motherfucker. That stuffy, stay-at-home, drink beer light or alcohol-free beer motherfucker has the most banging tunes in the library. Absolutely killer. Celestial Spear. I think I can count that with Vapor. Forward March. Hmm. I wonder, I've just thought about Sweetman's build, right? Because Blood Fiendish on hit recover 2 HP. It's a character recover 3 or more HP in a single scene game on strength. So the attacks that specifically recover HP are not entirely necessary. So I know this might sound quite boring, but it might be better for Sweetman. Might it be, work, might it be better to work um, his card set into a singleton build instead, because that would solve the economy issues he's currently facing. I mean, it feels like most builds in the game can be improved by simply using singleton, but it might work well for him. Plus, I know he'd love the blade potential shit. <laughs> like, he would love blade potential unlocks. That would be him down to AT. He used to watch Dragon Ball Z. I know he likes unlock potential. Can't fucking lie to me, and he wouldn't. So, it's moot. Smoke smash that. I can just use cheap cards to intercept moves and get better results. I'm at emotion level 5, so now I need to be careful about light management, so smoke blow might be a better choice. To just... What's that? Confrontation. I'll come back to my final skill. If I'm needed to use something big, I'll use something big. If not, I'll use something small. Augury kick. I see your augury kick, and I raise you an augury kick. How about that? Draw a card. I play a pot of greed. Do you want me to explain what it does? Yugi, I've been dead for like a thousand years. What's up with that? There's not actually much to intercept at the moment. Unyielding strike can be countered by slay, which will restore some light. Divinatory impact's gonna fucking suck for Lane, there's no two ways about it. But he does do his best work at low health. At least get hit back and gain some light. There's no way we can intercept that, no one's fast enough, so... It's only gonna be two hits if Draw of the Sword wins, and considering the amount of bonuses he gets to slash attacks and singular strike, he should be okay. And if he's not, well, fuck me, I guess. You know, it is what it is. Not a big deal. Confrontation. Sweetman will take a hit, but he'll be all right. Unyielding strike. A little less fun, but it will be okay. The moment we can make a crack in their line, and the moment one of these guys falters, we can go in. We just gotta make that crack, you know? I reckon it's gonna be this guy. Yeah, it's going to be this guy. Maybe not straight away. It might take a while, but... Sweetman doesn't exactly have a lot going on in regards to cards, so I'm going to have him use a mass attack, because... Fuck them, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Cool. Go for it. Big damage. And a lot of their attacks just disappeared, which is very unfortunate for them. Nice. Don't worry, Lane, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, shame. 
He's barely taking damage from that. Ooh. Nice. Good. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. And blade potential just in time. Stagger? Stagger. Good. Part of their line is broken. We have our opportunity. It's just like playing Total War Warhammer 3. Your enemy's got a massive formation. You find a weak spot and you fucking drill it. And before you know it, their entire line falters. Really is that simple. Oh, actually, usually it isn't, but sometimes it is. Oh, cool. He's got blood spreading and unending thirst. He drew them. Good look, guys. He drew those cards he can't use. Point to him and laugh. I'll see if I can have everyone else cover him. Although, he's got so much health, he really can tank it, and he can regenerate. Like, I think he'll be all right. I'm in more danger than he is. And I've taken less hits, probably. His regeneration is insanely good. I just get some endurance going. Hey, you gave me more endurance. That helps me majorly. That's kind of my thing. I do take more stagger damage, so I need to be careful about taking hits. I don't want to get staggered. It'd be a bad time. Oh, she's gaining strength plus three. Hmm. Oh, Lane, you've really not drawn well this turn, have you? Oh, fucking bollocks. Whoever was on the piano for this track is such a fucking hero. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Because the piano almost seems to, like, flow from lead to rhythm. Like, it goes backwards and forwards between lead and rhythm. Like, lead guitar, rhythm, guitar, and bass. It It's kind of beautiful in how it's done. Like, I think a lot more appreciate... I don't get me wrong. People like the soundtrack to Ruiner, obviously. But I think it does deserve even more appreciation because there's some really good stuff in here. Maybe I can appreciate it more now that I am quote-unquote a musician. You know? I don't know. I've got two celestial spears coming at me. I feel a little targeted right now, guys. I don't know. I feel like they don't like me very much. I might just have to mitigate the damage and do counters. I'm not close to staggering, but I am close to dying. So I need to be a little careful. But if I die, it's not really a big deal. It'll be okay. It's fine. Oh, this is that piano. That's nuts. <laughs> a lot of celestial spears coming out this turn actually it's a little worrying well i'm gonna absorb some hits and it is going to be bad honestly but i'll hit them with molly slash and i'll be all right i don't want lane to take too many hits now he's kind of suffered enough i don't really want them to hit with that recover stagger resist hit on confrontation because it will slow down our ability to put them out. From his Bajir won't gain, um, it won't lower the damage of that. And if we allow her to hit with it, she'll gain the strength. But I don't think there's anything we can do about that, to be honest. Unless... Yeah, we'll do that. Fuck it. Celestial Spear, I'm gonna let um, Sweetman take that. He'll be okay. He'll be fine. You can block Unyielding Strikes. That'll be fine. And you can use Forge March on them. Lane... Look, man, sometimes you just gotta take your lumps. Sometimes you just gotta take your lumps. You're only gaining one strength. You're not gonna beat Celestial Spear. That ain't happening. So just use Brace Up on them and make sure they die. If they lose a character, we'll start doing better. I reckon maybe one of these two might stagger and we'll have a, we'll punch another hole in their line. That'll be good. Good. Hey, that worked out. Oh, yeah! Should never underestimate my defensive abilities. They're quite fucking high. Beautiful. Yep. No chance. Absolutely working them. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, you're so fucked. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not upset. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Very salty, I can tell. That person's going down next, that's for sure. Lane is in danger, though he does have unrelenting. Yeah. So he does get a second chance, but 
he won't have much more after that. And he's not... Maybe he needs more fucking uh, resources as well. Now her cards cost more, which sucks, but I think it was necessary. Limiting the amount of strength that Mirane can get, I think, is quite helpful. Luke's got some cards, but not enough light to use them, so... Mm. Lane is gaining benefits. Confrontation. Forward... Mm, you're only gaining one strength. Give it a go. You'll probably beat the first dice, I suppose. Maybe not. Forward march, brace up. You'll take hits, but you'll get health back. It's fine. Honestly, stagger assist is probably uh, Sweetman's one big re weakness. I wonder, though, because, you know, we've got strengthened, and then we've got toughness to offset the uh, the fragile. But I wonder, would it not be better to just get further than to, you know, take three lefts to go right? You know what I mean? I wonder. I'll look into it. Oh, this music's so fun. Lane, if you want to survive, you better start fucking frost splintering. See what you can do, buddy. Now, I could be trying to, you know, use frost splinter in such a way as to delete more of their dangerous attacks, and that would be wise. I'm not going to do it, though. Divinatory impact. Harold still has plenty of, um stagger left so some of those attacks will get through what do you got restore light that is useful especially since Lorelei is going to be a lot less effective from now on simply due to the fact she won't be able to play as much will the prescript should be able to deal with that that's forward march deflect that restore lights that person will die from the mass attack, we'd have to worry. I think maybe two of the attacks on Divinatory Impact might be removed, which means all Greek Kick would actually do well there. And then... I don't know if Brace Up or Forward March will be able to do it, but give it a try. And that's about what we got! I say go for it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, yeah, good job, Lorelei. Very nice. Yup. 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 Oh, that's not good. Take the health back. Oh, yeah. S solid. Solid. Wonderful. Stagger deflects. And the follow up. That's fine. Oh, he's fine. He yet lives. He yet lives, but he is staggered. We might need to keep them off of him. It's fine. We can do that. There's only two of them left, and they're not even attacking him. He can have a turn to rest. We just got to hold up the side. That's all. All of users' pages cost one more for the next scene. See, I didn't really read that properly, and I thought it was like, for the rest of the acts, it will cost one more. Marionette is actually brilliant. One more for the next scene. That's nothing. That's fuck all. That's so easy to deal with. That's a really good uh, like, uh, ego attack. I never realized. Interesting. Draw a page. See, I like how we've done things now because Lane still fulfilled their traditional role of getting the shit kicked out of them. But they were also really helpful through the fight and performed relatively well. Honestly, well, the prescript seems to keep being that, so just do it, I guess. Unyielding strike. All dice on this page gain plus two power. Okay, how about smoke smash? Now, Sweetman, I do, do need to deal with the true trigram formation. If only you had a mass attack. Ah, you do. Ah, you do have one of those. Yeah, you do. Yeah, brother, you do have one of those. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, you do have one of those, don't you, buddy? Yeah, you have one of those, don't you? Yeah, you do. <laughs> Always got something like, tucked up your sleeve, haven't you, buddy? Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> you crazy bastard. Get him. Oh. Oh, but it is, though, isn't it? A little bit. Oh, you're fucked. It's not looking much better for you, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, what a shame. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, it do be like that, though, doesn't it? Oh, just a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
they're dead. <laughs> Amir and Ace all alone. Lane, would you care to do the honors? Ah, one is done. Nice, cool. That was fun. I like that. I've got another challenge in mind. Um, Nat, I've heard, or at least from what I remember, the best way to test builds is to either fight Geb or fight uh, Cali or fight Arcorp. But I feel like we've done those a lot of times. I don't really want to. I got another idea. It's one I don't expect to win. I'm just curious to see how far this team goes. 5% chance to boost attack damage and stagger damage by one if the character has strength, endurance, protection, or stagger protection gained from combat pages. Well, that's basically all the time, isn't it? Yeah, see, offensive position and toughness results in nine passive attribution cost, but toughness doesn't outweigh the fragility gained by offensive position, and offensive position only gains one strength. And would that not simply be solved by... And it's also using two key pages, right? Would that not be solved simply by using further? Offensive dice gain one power, emotion level three or above. Yeah, we have to wait for it a little bit, but he's gaining strength from Blood Fiendish, usually, and it gives us the freedom to... Oh, I know what would go well. Oh, uh, we don't really have enough for that to get to get that and Locke's potential. Then again, Locke's potential would do what Fervor does, so we do that and that, and then the mass attacks will cost one less, and we've still got room for, like, another thing. And I know exactly what it should be. The one weakness that Sweetman currently has, which is his stagger resist. There you go. And then I just need to adjust the combat pages, get rid of Crimson Claws, that and that. I can't find Will of the Prescript. Where is it? I found it. So zero zero one two three six six. We need some lower cost stuff as well. Preferably stuff with more hits or knights in the back streets. Hmm, maybe. I'm gonna take Prescript for more hits and faint, because faint can be used for the purpose of literally hitting someone in the side. Possibly. I don't know. We'll see how it works. Everyone else has stayed the same. The question is, am I allowed to do what I want to do? Am I allowed to fight this with uh, General Works, is the question. No, damn it, that's what I wanted to do. Oh well. Fuck it, let's fight, Roland. It's an easy, like, stress test. In the fact that it's not easy. Oh yeah, we're not allowed to use general... Oh, God, I hate general work so much. <laughs> I hate the floor so fucking much. Can I do this one with... You will not be able to... All oh, right, no, that's the full ensemble. Yeah, that's not... Okay, all right, all right, fine. Fuck me, okay. Ugh. You'd think in the post game, they just let you use whatever the hell you want, but no. We'll fight Iori. I haven't fought her in a while. I know she selects floors at random. Which should be pretty funny, honestly. Uh, see how that goes. Uh, stay still, don't people word. Okay, yeah, let's see what's going on. So, you got blunt power up this turn, and you're using blunt attacks. Go figure. Would never have guessed. I mean, Bajir can counter that pretty reliably, I think. Gain strength. Now, obviously, this isn't entirely fair, because we're using stuff from beyond Iori stuff, but I just wanted to do a kind of tough fight, and here we are. This is a kind of tough fight. Yeah, you used yours, that's fine, brace up, and then... If you hit him in the sides... Yes, yes, yes. Do you get the... Does it count as healing if he's at max health? Like, will he... Well, we'll find out, actually, won't we? If he has strength next turn, we'll know it worked. Unless that spreads to him. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, that worked out. She is strong. I have no... Oh, boy. I have noticed this. Yeah, yeah, she is strong. It would be pretty embarrassing, I suppose, if I lose this, but on the other hand, I don't really care that much. Swimmer needs to take damage in order to heal it. Right, I see. Might want him up front and center for some of this. And you're now gaining blunt, you're still blunting stance, okay. You're using blunt stacks and duel is fucking scary, okay. And it comes with a counter dice as well, which is gaining plus one. Plus two, actually. Beg your pardon, plus two. 
Great Serpent Simpax. Might have to cover lane because he can't really do much at the moment. I might be about to take a big hit, and if so, then... The defense order, I suppose. Gain smoke, limit the amount of damage taken. So that, uh, that counter die is 3 to 7, which will actually be 5 to 9. So we need to make sure we can beat it. See what we can do. I expected that. I expected that too. That's good. That's... Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, nice. Hey, good job. Yikes. Yikes. Hmm, that was a turn. Things occurred, definitely. Not the best turn I've ever played. Pulsation is risky, but that could be very useful for this. We are a little bit underpowered. Curiosity could be useful for Lane, who is just not drawing cards. Yeah, fuck it. It's four of us against one. Someone's bound to land a hit. I say with a little less confidence. Piercing stance, pierce power plus two. Twice as much stacks of status effects, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm, okay. Okay, all right then, okay, all right. Okay, all right. I need my fucking potential to come in soon, because, oh boy, I do gain a lot of bonuses. Might be okay. If I lead with this first, perhaps, and gain more smoke. If I can use smoke prick and then hit with it, then that would make smoke smash even better, because we'll get the plus nine smoke, which will give plus two power, and that might do the trick. Or I'm lining myself up to get fucking bodied. It's distinctly possible. Uh, we'll see. We'll fucking see. That's good. I forgot that she re-rolls her low values as well. That's lucky. That's not. That's neutral. I didn't get my smoke. Ah, oh, and Lane didn't get their clash. That worked out, eventually. I did get my unlock potential. That was good fucking timing, wasn't it? Good. Problem is, we're gonna lose all this when she hops dimensions, which is a bit of a problem. But we'll have to deal with it. That's part of the fight. I know everyone hates this, but I don't care. I'm gonna give that to Lane. He needs more cards. That's more like it. Venomous Fang still in Pierce Stance. Some dangerous shit coming out this turn. Me and Sweeman are powered up. Lorelei is suffering a bit. I think she could do with landing some free hits just to get her fucking stagger assist back up. Snake's Prey. So that's more like 5-7... 5-9. Gaining 3 strength and got power up. So that's like a total of plus 4 offensive power. Which is good. It's very good. But surely she could beat Snake's Prey, right? She needs to do something. Fuck it. I know what I'm about, son. Even if I don't. It's moments like this when I really do miss the, um, the Limbus, like... What's it called? The, the prediction system, where I can see how well the game thinks a certain clash is going to do before I do it. Okay, so Lane doesn't really have to worry about card draw anymore. It's not relevant to him. So I say, flow the sword and draw the sword. And then go for that feint. And we'll see what we can do. Good start. Not good. Not good. Okay. Good, good. Wabams, wabams. Not great, not great. But okay, in, in the overall, I suppose. Taking bleed damage. Hitting her, that's good. Good. Not good. Very bad. Okay. <laughs> Sweetman took a lot of damage. Oh, jeez. This, I'm, I'm pleased, actually, because I was worried this would be a bit easy, because I'm like, oh, she's fucking, like, ages back in the uh, in the story order, you know? Like, we have a lot less stuff when dealing with her, but nah, she's tough, man, for real. Uh, we can't protect Sweetman entirely. Serpent Sword technique will hit. I think the bleed is just going to do him in. He does recover at the start of each turn just a little bit, though. Hmm. Not looking good for him. Maybe we could land a cheeky stagger? The only way we can save Sweetman now is if we used mass attacks. But guess who has mass attacks? Sweetman, and no one else. So he's fucked, I suppose. Let's take this turn to do some big damage, though. Actually, properly here and make sure we win. Violet Blade is dangerous. But there's nothing I can do about it, so embrace the fact that that is unfortunately going to occur. Crack of Dawn, because she'll be swinging at us next turn. Painfully aware of this. 
It's not health that's the problem, it's the stagger assist. It's the gameplay mechanic I haven't had to deal with until very recently, i.e. right now. Because, you know, it wasn't really in uh, Limbus. Stagger was tied to health, which makes sense. Well, goodbye, Sweetman, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oof. He's still alive! Ah, uh, he's not. <laughs> ah! Stop! Stop hurting me! There we go. Big hit, and a deflect. Make it happen! Stagger at this turn. Yeah! Oh, she's not taking health damage because she's gonna jump to a different floor. This is a problem. Hmm. Blood. Gallons of the stuff. Aspiration. And she's gone. Fuck. Do you guys even have, um... Did I? You guys don't even have key pages, do you? No. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, Emmett. You can land some hits, except counter die. <laughs> oh no! I forgot how bopping this track is, though. Bumper, dumper, dumper. Bumper, 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 bumper. Oh, it's so f it's so fucking oh, it's so bopping. Absolutely love it. Yeah. And the funny thing is, you hear this when things go wrong, but it's so bopping. Oh no. Oh dear. She's been staggered. No. Nope. Nah. Oh dear. This is just a chance to show off, really, isn't it? <laughs> Nope. Nah. Nope. Counter die. <laughs> See, that's great and all, but everyone's staggered, so I can't even get a clash to happen. Oh, she's using a mass. Well, at least she's wasted it. Ha ha ha. It's definitely my victory. Yes, yes, Iori, you killed them. We saw. Don't worry. Okay, so now we have to do round two, but we're all weakened, and Sweetman's dead. It's the start, none of us have our bonuses. Fucking wonderful, and she's going for it. Okay, may as well do as much damage as you can as well. Probably just get chumped out by a counter, but you know what? It's fine. Oh my god, it got they! I'm doomed! I'm doomed! I didn't think it would apply the two times in resistance to a mass attack. Ah! Ah, fools! Ah, the true trigram failed for the most part. Hmm. That was good. Yep. Yep. Good. Good. Okay, that was a positive. That hurt a lot. That hurt a lot too. That hurt as well. Fuck you. Please stop hurting me. Stop hurting me. I'm just a little guy. Lane, it's time to go in. Lane, it's time to go in. This is what you were made for. Yeah, yeah, it's time to go in. It's all up to you now, buddy. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, I'm dead. It's mass individual, which Lane can't actually defend himself against. So Lane might just, he's got unrelenting, okay. That'll keep him alive, I suppose. Can you draw a page? Thank you. Hmm. We have Wrist Cutter, which is not enough. So everyone's gonna take some damage from that. I'm gonna die, there's no two ways about it. Hmm, it's tricky though, isn't it? It's a little bit, uh, it's a little tricky, but... Lane is gaining eight strength. Surely he can beat anything. Including Strike Down, which you can't... <sighs> Fuck me. You draw the sword, you need more light. And uh, this will go poorly. Yes, it will. We'll save the ego attacks for when Lorelei is inevitably on her own. Okay, that's fine. Except I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. That's what we wanted. That's not great, though. I didn't... Ooh. Ah. Oh, that's good. Okay, Lane, it's up to you now, buddy. It's up to you now, buddy. 
You got it! Don't worry about it! Ah, fuck. Hmm, okay. That was big damage. Oh, he's just decided to not die this turn. That's fun. You can't kill me! <laughs> Lorelei's taken many healths. Many damages. Alright, Lane, look, you're fucked. We know this. So all I need you to do is to stop her from attacking Lorelei, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. Oh, she's be oh you're oh well you know what? I'm not just letting you I'm not just gonna let you get away with this. Except I am. Because that's a seven, so there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, but you're gaining plus two strength, and you don't have any bleed. Uh what do you have? Well you do have risk car. Okay, yeah, you have risk car. Alright, we'll we'll work with that. Brace up. Go. Ah, she beat it though. I didn't think she would. Well, <laughs> why do I not think she'd win that? What in my brain was like, yeah, I'll win that, no problem. No, I'd win. <laughs> I forgot how good Iori is, honestly. Ah, that's what I get, though. That's what I get. You can do it, Bina. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, Bina, you got it. You got it, Bina. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> you got it. This has ceased to be um, a test of the build I made. And it's now officially just me fucking around. Which, I mean, that's not entirely off-brand, is it? <laughs> We're not going to win this, but it's fun to try. That's fine. That worked out. Ah, well, at least you didn't take any hit. Oh! Ooh! Lamarcus, no! Ah, oh, no! Cosporkus! Not Metal Star, they're a good person, no. Oh, the counters, though. Ah. Yeah. Watchful eyes. Fina. Why? <laughs> Herring's fine, don't worry about it, hey. Look. Look at me. Herring's fine, mass individual. More like... Shit. <laughs> if things go well, you could hit her with the Greater Pillar. I doubt it will, but it might. Yeah, her numbers are fucking insane. Yeah. Hey, that one failed. That's alright. Big eyes! Big-eyed, big-lipped, buxom beauty. Okay. Try strike down, but I'm not feeling it, Beaner. I gotta be honest. That could have gone worse. Ah, it did go worse. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 134 health left, though. Hey, we did all right. Ah, oh, the reception has been concluded, though, hasn't it? A little bit. Yeah, that was a loss. Fair enough. That was fun, though. Um, so what did I learn, necessarily? Well, there's definitely some more economy needed with some of these characters. Lane definitely needed more economy. Overcome Crisis was not enough page draw. Unlock 1 would absolutely do that job, but it is quite... unlikely, I suppose, that it will occur. I suppose if I was to lean into the playstyle that is Lane, I would have, like, three unlocks. So he's just hammering them out and then getting hit in return because that's just kind of what's happening, but he's hitting hard. And then his unlocks become decent cards, well, at least the first die becomes decent, with the ability to restore light and draw pages for free. Which seems like the best way to play him alongside, I don't know, maybe change some of these around as well. I like Eliminate. Has another finality to it, it's very fun. I like Cracker Dawn because I like Cracker Dawn. I've always liked that card. And Flow of the Sword seems useful. I think it's good with him, to be honest, with all the bonuses he gets to slash damage. Maybe replace Draw of the Sword with Unlock 1 and then keep Overcome Crisis, because then his health will get low and he has a relatively high swinging card that draws pages and restores light. I don't know. 
Let me know what you think. But yeah, that was Runa, ladies and gentlemen. That was the first look back at Runa. I'm thinking next time... I'm not committing to this idea, and I'm going to wait and see what you guys think before I proceed with it, because there's not going to be too much point in committing to this if no one's actually into it, but I'm thinking next time we return to history, then do tech, then do uh, literature, then do art, natural sciences, language, social sciences, philosophy, and then round it off with religion. Let me know what you think, but that's all from me for today, ladies and gentlemen. I actually really enjoyed myself today. I hope you did too. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to our members and patrons, Abyssal Angie, Grand Captain General Peace, Meanbag Beanbag Turtle, Malignant Humor, Zanael, Cuds, Kana Samaria, Poe, Pork Chop Labrex, Scrubby Doo, Lifesteal, Mega Mr. Z-Man, Unclever Name, Lumen, Crystallite, Summer Cat, Flanny, Painted Dragoon, Lyle the Hagsire, Lipotatoes, Proxy, Kamenera, Moa, Heartland, Harak J, Dressos, Lol, Final Legend, Etherbin Linky, Zeon Cedar, Bimble Watch, Majoko, Maimu Now, Kia, Honey Lola, Sweet Baby Red, Jess Kissy, Plutonium Pie, Dream of Ghost, Lepa Lullaby, K Bub, Magic Cow, The Frostbite, Monster. Soon, SCP-106A, Nomad, and Kenny T-100 for supporting me on YouTube and Patreon. Thank you guys, and thank you so much for watching. Yeah, no, this is a good time. Very nostalgic for me. The game is fun. I remembered how fun the game is when you're not sat here thinking, oh, I hope people don't think I'm bad at the game. I couldn't give less of a fuck by this point, <laughs> truly. I just want to enjoy the video game, and I did. And I am. I think going through each of the floors and building teams for them based on the characters I know and love will and not necessarily make me a good player, but it will kind of refresh my memory and I'll be like, ah, oh, yes, this works better. I understand how this works now. Yeah, this works in this order. This ego goes really well with this, etc., etc. you know, and I'll kind of improve over time. And then maybe once we've done that or once I'm tired of the idea, which is distinctly possible, I don't know, we'll look into something a little more spicy. I was thinking of doing a run where I only fight each reception once and I burn all the, you know, burn all the books I get from it, and then what I've got is what I work with, as it were. So instead of just having access to the entire compendium of pages and key pages and stuff like that, you just work with what you get. I would put on no... Yeah, because the way I do it is I would have to refight some fights in order to have the books to burn in order to fight and in order to do an invitation, but I would only burn books to get stuff from the first encounter with that reception, you know what I mean? So I would have very limited things to work with and it would force me to work with what I have and to try and work around problems. I think it could be interesting. I'd be curious to know what you guys think about that, but that's for later, for now. Thank you so much for watching and whatever happens next time, I hope I see you there. Doodles, goodbye. <laughs>